All right, guys. Today we'll be making Parmesan chicken with Alfredo with spinach in the inside of there. Now, right now, all I've done is season the chicken breast and I flipped it over. And now what I'm going to do is show you guys how I rub the chicken breast after I put the seasoning on it. Now, this to me makes the seasoning stick a little bit easier and you get more of the flavor on it. Now here, this is what we're gonna use to make the Parmesan chicken. After you've already seasoned it, you're gonna need eggs, breadcrumbs, and you're gonna need a little bit of Parmesan. Now if you breadcrumbs I use, it were these. Now, after you get all your ingredients out, you're gonna need to season your eggs with the same seasoning that you season your chicken with, just so it can make sure it has that seasoning. And you can put a little bit of Parmesan in the eggs also just to give it that Parmesan taste as well. Now after you put your seasoning and your Parmesan in the eggs, you're going to whisk it. Whisk it just as if you were making scrambled eggs. You want to make sure you're able to see the seasoning within the eggs. Now I think I'm going to add a little bit more Parmesan to it. Now as I'm putting the Parmesan in the eggs, I'm going to go over here and put it in the breadcrumbs. You want the breadcrumbs to be fully covered with Parmesan. After all, it is Parmesan chicken. So, as we're going to let this sit for a minute. We're going to go back here and whisk, whisk of Parmesan inside of the eggs. This will be all one concoction. Alright, now I think that's pretty good. You can see the egg, you can see the seasoning, you can see the parmesan. Now, you can go over here and you can mix this together. And the reason I use the Italian breadcrumbs is because I believe it has the best flavor to it. I use them in my meatballs as well. The flavor is just amazing. So now after you've mixed those two together, we can start dipping the chicken. Now as we're beginning to prepare the chicken, cooking is all about multitasking. So you wanna turn the eye on and get your water boiling for your noodles for your Alfredo. And don't forget this, salt flavor for the noodles of course just regular old salt will do the trick and just let this cook until it becomes a boil all right guys now we're ready to start dipping the chicken so you're going to grab one chicken breast it's already seasoned you put it in the egg flip it around and do it on the other side Make sure the full chicken breast is covered in egg. Then you put it in the breadcrumbs. Make sure the round in there. Make sure the breadcrumbs are on it. Sometimes it doesn't get in the crevices of the chicken breast. So you just make sure it's on there. Put it where it needs to go, of course. And you do that step with every one of your chicken breasts. It should look just like this. Alright guys, before you put the chicken inside of the pan, 
we put a little oil inside of the pan so the the bread the breadcrumbs get get that brown coating that we want. We want it to be nice and brown, and then we just lay it in the pan. And of course, we just let it cook. All right, guys, you see how they're starting to cook? I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can see they're totally forming their color on the bottom. Once they get like this, you're gonna flip them. See, nice and golden brown. This is how you like it. This is how you need to be. All right, as this is beginning to come to a boil, you wanna make sure you got your fettuccine noodles. And what you're gonna do with these are, are you're gonna break them in half and put them inside of there. Now once your noodles are in your pan, and in your pot, you just give it a stir. And you let them do its thing. Nothing more, nothing less, you just let them cook. And now as we have the noodles cooking and the chicken cooking, what we usually do is begin to wash our greens. We wash our spinach and start preparing the sauce. Make sure it's fresh spinach, guys. You don't want anything that's frozen. I hate frozen vegetables. Now you may want to stir the noodles occasionally just so they won't stick to the pan. But other than that, you don't do anything special to them. It just let you just let them cook. So after they're brown on both sides, go ahead and put it in the oven. It'll cook quicker and it'll get more of that moisture. All right, guys, these noodles are done. So what we're gonna do is drain them and set them to, to the side until we make our sauce. All right, guys, now we're gonna prepare for the sauce. We're gonna, what's in the pan is minced garlic and butter. Now you're gonna start the pan and you're gonna let the butter melt. Then you're gonna add your heavy whipping cream, but we have to let this melt first. So I'll be back shortly to show you guys the next step. All right, once the butter has melted, you pour your heavy cream in there. Now, if you buy a bigger carton than this, you do half and half. So you do half for the first session and then half later. So after you pour all your heavy cream, half of your heavy cream in, you let it boil for a, a bit and then you put your Parmesan in. All right, now before it comes to a complete boil, you just wanna stir everything in. Now, only thing I have in here is still the butter, the minced garlic, and the heavy whipping cream. Now I'm gonna put a little Parmesan in here just so it can thicken, so I can see the consistency before it actually, before I actually add a lot of Parmesan. So Parmesan going in. And a whisk is very, very important, guys, here. So you just whisking. Nobody likes grainy pasta. So the whisk is very important. I can't stress that enough. Your arm may get tired, but trust me, it'll be worth it. And then you add your seasoning. My favorite seasoning of choice for Alfredo, it's this. I love it. it tastes really good. It's my go-to seasoning. Trust me, you won't You can regret. see here that it's starting to look like a more of an Alfredo sauce. The more you let it cook, the thicker it becomes. So right now, I'm gonna add some more Parmesan. Parmesan is the key to your success. And of course, like I said, that whisk, Wish till you can't no more. Every time you add more Parmesan, you're whisking. And after you 
you feel like you whisk enough and you won't have any grains or you don't see any more parmesan at the top, you let it cook and let it get a little bit thicker. Once it starts to boil, you add your other heavy cream. And then, again, you just step and repeat. More seasoning, more parmesan. At the end, I like to add a, a least, let's say, like a pinch more Cajun seasoning just, just to give it that flavor. So right now, I think I'm about done whisking for a moment. I'm going to check on that chicken. You can see if they're done. If you don't have a thermometer, it's always a good thing just to get a knife and cut it open and see what how we're actually looking. I'll say about three to five more minutes. All right, you see that Alfredo beginning to boil? Now it's time for your other heavy whipping. The reason you do half and half is just to, cook, to stop the cooking process. Sometimes it gets too thick. And you don't want it too thick, so you stop the cooking process. Parmesan in. Seasoning. And now it's time to whisk. You should be able to tell that it's getting a little thicker than, than it was. That's exactly what you want. So now you can add a little bit more Parmesan, a little bit more seasoning to yours. And let it boil. As long as you whisk enough. Let it boil for a little bit and your sauce will be finished. Now, I don't know if you can see the consistency there. It's there. Your sauce is completely finished, sis. And now, let's add the spinach. Now, we begin to add the spinach. You can put as much spinach as you would like in there. But you know, as Spinach reduces, you won't have much of any. So just try to put a, put enough in there. Now we get to mm -hmm. stir in the sauce. You see that consistency of that sauce? Spinach only takes like two minutes to cook too. Not long at all. Once the spinach is done, pour the sauce on the noodles, and your, din your dinner is complete. Now you have your spinach alfredo. It's ready. And I'll be right back to show you the finishing plate. 